Today, we're going to create. Hello, I'm Leona Dooley, and this is Ebony, Ivy, and Time, where we work hard, we love God and family, and we know without a doubt that everything else is just gravy. Today in the kitchen, we are creating a kitchen tablescape. And you might think, why? Because we're in the middle of a pandemic. Well, I say, why not? Because our family's working virtually, our children are virtually studying and doing their lessons for school. So why not make your kitchen the most homey, the most cheerful, the most happiest place that it could possibly be. So we're going to kick our kitchen up a notch with this lovely kitchen tablescape. Stay with me. My kitchen is the spot that has the most traffic. We are in and out of here all the time. So because of that, I'm going to spruce it up and I'm going to take out some of the things that I had in here. You know, I changed the counter uh, decoration, the counter vignette the other day. So today we're gonna work on the kitchen table. So I've cleaned it off and uh, I'm looking at those, uh, these are Pioneer Woman placemats, but I want you to see how they blend with the runner. Perfect. That's gonna work absolutely perfect. So, let's go over and let's put that placemat back in its spot. Now, let's think about what else shall we put on this table? You know, oh, the lantern. The lantern picks up quite a bit of fall. I can light it, which is what I'm doing at this point. I'm gonna turn on those little lights and they're pretty easy to get to. Do you remember when I made this? We did that together right here in the kitchen. So be sure to check that out if you want to know how I put it and one other together. Those lanterns are always a lot of fun. Now, so let's take a look at the charger. Now I thought I'd start with the charger since the lantern was uh, rather gold. It's really kind of a blend of gold and copper and just a touch of silver and I painted it myself. The dishes that I'm adding are also Pioneer Woman and they come from her cowboy lace collection and when you look at them you see how the edges of them look perfectly like lace. Very curly and very dainty but the color is so fall with that burgundy so I'm bringing a swag in that's going to pick up that burgundy. On the ribbon of this particular swag, we've got apples and um, lots of fall colors. So I'm going to tie that in, add that to our lantern, and it's just going to give us the top that we need for these colors and to bring everything together. So I'm just kind of playing around with it, making sure it's nice to look at and attractive from both sides. I like being able to tie my uh, lantern swags on because then if I want to switch it out, I can do that and it's not a big deal. It's very easy. So you can see the colors of fall and the burgundies. So I've added a uh, salad plate as well as look at those goblets. The goblets pick up the fruit that is on the ribbon. So there's apples, there's grapes, there's pears. Also, all of the fruits of autumn. So we're bringing those in. And I really like these particular stems. I haven't used them in a while, but they're gonna be a lot of fun. You can put, of course, they're really for wine, but if not wine, you can put whatever you want to, whatever your beverage of choice is in those glasses. Aren't these plates beautiful? Now, 
I'm going to add the napkins and I'm going to use these Pier 1 napkin rings and you'll see where I'm going to take this gratitude napkin which is also Pier 1 place it under our salad dessert plate and place the flower on that and that is just going to be draped right over the salad plate there we go so you can see your words the person's greeted with the flower and the napkins in place i like the way that looks and i like the fact that it's able to pick up all of the colors both from the lantern as well as just the tablescape itself. So I'm going to continue to add those napkins around the table. So as we're doing this, what are you doing in your kitchen this fall? If you're like us, most of the time when we're getting ready for dinner, we've got to move a computer, we have to move papers and notebooks, we have to move pencils, and your home is probably just like ours. Our kitchen is lived in. And so for those of you who are working from home, I can only imagine the effort it takes to be able to bring dinner together, get everyone bundled up, get things bundled up, and serve dinner. So very often, we don't even bother. We'll just grab our plates, get a TV tray and go sit in front of the television. It just depends on the day. So I hope you're not like us. I hope you actually sit at your kitchen table every night. We used to, but we don't do it every night. So I have all the napkins in place. This is a great view for that goblet so that you can see the wine goblet and there it is. That looks absolutely beautiful. I love the look. I love the colors. And you know guys, as we start to get further and further into fall and closer to November, you know, I say November and I go, oh, November is just around the corner. Just a matter of a couple of weeks. And we're going to be knocking right there on the door of November. And you know what comes very quickly Thanksgiving and then Christmas so let's enjoy every day of October that we can now for those of you who are experiencing some unusual weather we certainly have all kinds of weather that's across the United States as well as some other countries where we have rain in one place we've got hurricanes we've got fires i talked to one of my friends who she lives out in california and some of her friends have, have had have been displaced because of the fires so we are experiencing all kinds of things in addition to our health situation so let's try to keep things happy let's keep things uplifted keep things in love now there we go our table says family you're thought of and I truly do love my family and so this is a beautiful table for them to sit down to where they can sit they can chit chat and giggle and I just love it that's what it's all about a beautiful tablescape for those you love Planning, cooking, and decorating are the things that I do in my kitchen all the time. And if you like those types of things, I invite you to join the Ebony, Ivy, and Time family because this is where we work hard, we love God and family, and we know without a doubt that everything else is just gravy. So, right now, go down to the subscribe button and click on it also while you're there tap that little bell icon so that every time i upload a video you will know also 
You may also go down into the description box and take a look at some of my favorite Amazon items. And I list those types of things all the time because as I use them, I invite you to use them also. So there's a nice running list of things there. Before we leave our kitchen today, let me say that again, that I have enjoyed having you right here in, in our kitchen. But also, please remember each day to light a candle and shine a light, not only for your family, but for those around you. And I'll see you soon right here in the kitchen of Ebony, Ivy, and Time.